Homework. Half life. Half life, was it? Great. Let's have a look. Didn't do the homework, so he. He did the homework and he wasn't even here. Home's much nicer. <laughs> much nicer to stay. Okay, let's have a look. Um, so, how long until less than one gram remains? And the half life is 2.8 days, and you start with 25 grams. Okay, let's have a look. So, we start with 25 grams, then we get 12 and a half grams. Then we have 6.25 grams, then we have 3.125 grams, then we have 3.125 over 2, and then we have 3.125 over 4, whatever it is. I know when it gets to here, it's less than 1. So let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 half lights. 5 multiplied 2.8, which is 6... 14. 14. 14. 14. 14 days. Yesterday yeah. you said use the formula. No, I didn't say that. N equal M0. No, 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 no. I said, so he asked me that. Yeah. I said, in the exam, they usually want the exact answer, so you need to use the formula. But for this lesson, I just want you to practice using half life. You got this? Good job. Have you seen Hermine? Yeah, I, I saw him in front of Lorraine. How sick did he look? How sick did he look? <laughs> did he look very sick? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the V part. Um, what is the K constant? Okay, so the decay constant is log 2. Now, you can change it into seconds or you can change it and keep it as days. So if you keep it as days, If you keep it as days, you get 0.2476 per day, but if you change it into seconds, two four one nine two oh. you get 2.865 times 10 to the minus 6 per second. You can use either once you have the correct unit. Okay. I don't think I need so high. That's too low. Seconds. Use seconds. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. What is the activity? Okay. So. Um. And sorry. A equals minus lambda n. 2.865 times 10 to the minus 6 times n. 
Now we don't know what the N is, but we know we have 25 grams, and we know that one mole is 222 grams. So if I do 222, oh sorry, 25 divided by 222, I have 0 0.1126 moles. So if I multiply that by Avogadro's number, which I have on my calculator, then I get 6.78 times 10 to the 22 atoms for the N. So this is how to calculate the N. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that a yes? Is that a no? Is it yes? Okay. And D. Now, Amanda, this is where it says how long until exactly one gram is left. So we can use our formula N no M equals M zero E minus lambda T one gram equals twenty five grams E minus lambda T Well 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 Look who we have. I ran as fast as I could. Yeah. And you were so sick, right? Yesterday. Yeah. I'm not mm, it's a miracle. <laughs> um so we got one thousand or oh, hang on. Mm, 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 seconds. That's hours, that's days. 13 days. Yep. It's okay. Continue? Yeah? Okay. So, uh, let's see. If the room is 20 by 30 by 3, then what's the density? Density is mass over volume, which is 0 0.001 over 20 by 30 by 3. So it's a small number. 5.56 times 10 to the minus 7 kilograms per meter cubed. And lastly, I think I have the right words for the last one. It's more of a chemistry question. So you can practice your chemistry. What is the molarity? Is that the right word? Moles per liter? Molarity is moles per liter. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So what's the molarity? That's moles per liter. So one gram is what you have. That's the mass. Uh, and the molar mass is 222 grams. So how many moles do you have? Two. Two, two, two. Uh, one divided by two, two, two. So you have... 0 0.00450 moles. Uh, what symbol do you use for molarity, Harine? Uh, big M. Is it big M? Ah, okay. I'll just write molarity. 
uh, equals 0 0.00450 divided by 20 times 30 times 3. Now I need to make a change here. That's 2.5025 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per meter cubed. But um, in chemistry, do you use liters? Yeah. yeah. So do you remember, if I go to the side, one meter cubed equals one thousand liters. So that means 0 0.001 meter cubed equals one liter. So 10 to the minus three meter cubed equals one liter. We did this in semester one. So here you can change this into 2.5025 times 10 to the minus three times 10 to the minus three moles and meters cubed. So I can put this one together with this one and it makes a litre. So I get 2.5025 times 10 to the minus 3 um, moles per litre. We want that 0 0.0025 moles per liter. So that's just more practice in chemistry. Do you do things like this with Lorraine? Are you sure? Or you look confused. We, we kind of do the same thing. Really? <laughs> I mean not now, like the kind of changing from Okay, will we do the next homework? Yep. Okay.